He's going to go earlier than, remember, he came to the park early. And so before the time, he was late the first time he went there. So now he goes there the second time early. He, he takes, drags her out of the park. They go and they just go anywhere. And she says, where's my flowers? So he goes to, across to the flower shop where he meets Alan Young, who gets his cameo, who's the flower man. But before he can even buy anything, she gets run over by a cart and horse. Yeah, so... Okay, so kid, continue. and this proves so what you're saying this proves that time is immutable. This becomes a purely, perfectly, completely determinist universe from beginning in, to end. In, in the everything 2002 is two version, fixed. there is no multiverse here, there the is two, no option for it, only in that version. That's correct, but that is <laughs> kind of, that's kind of one of the implications of Wells' thing, too, because in the original, because when he goes back, he doesn't attempt. To fix anything, no. But they don't leave. They don't leave it out. He does attempt to. He changes things because. Well, I mean, you could argue that it's determinist, but it doesn't. Nothing really points to it being determinist at all. There's no proof of the determinist within the 1960 version or the uh, the book. Uh, but it, oh, it, so you think so? It's someone I, preaching. Think. I think personally, it's whoever uh, you know is making that. Whoever wrote this script for time for the Time Machine 2002 version is preaching that it's determined or deciding that that uh, they they can't change it. That if yeah, your time is up, then it's your time. You know. 